Hey, Jeff here with Digital Trends. We're taking a quick look at the Nook tablet. This is the 16 gigabyte version of the Nook tablet. Came out uh, late last year. And recently, Barnes & Noble has come out with an eight gigabyte version as well, which uh, has about half the RAMs, not quite as speedy as this one. We kind of recommend the $250 version. Its chief competition is, of course, the Kindle Fire, which has locked up on me. So here they are side by side. Um, usually when you're looking for one of these, you're kind of comparing it to the other. These are the kind of the, on the low end of, of decent Android tablets. Both of them run a version of Android, but uh, neither of them want to really admit that they're Android. They both, have, they both don't use Google services. They both have their own application stores and stuff like that beyond the Nook, but both of their app stores are, you know, relatively weak compared to the Google Play Store, which used to be called the Android Market. So the Nook has stuff you can shop for some apps. It's got a few new things, you know, like the new Angry Birds, some games. Mostly when you get looking around to it, there's not, there's not a whole lot of depth there. But there's enough that it should satisfy you if your main purpose is reading. The Nook tablet is very good at reading. Um, it does have a you know backlit screen. It just doesn't have the e-ink screen of some of the dedicated e-readers. But it does a really good job of uh, for things like uh, children's books or comic books or magazines. Let's see if we can. Here's a magazine. So National Geographic looks especially cool. I like this page effect. Every e-reader should have that. So you can kind of jump around quickly to books on the Nook. A little bit easier than on the Kindle Fire. There we go. You can also click right there to get back to whatever you were reading. Uh, there's a few video apps. You can do Netflix and Hulu. They both work pretty well. Both of these are also available on the Kindle Fire. So nothing unique there. If you want music, there's Pandora, but that's about it. You're not going to get Spotify or anything like that. So this runs relatively well. Whoever's account this is uh, loves My Little Pony. It's definitely not me. I would, I would not be watching My Little Pony. So it works okay. This actually works a little better than on some Android tablets. And then it's got this little cover flow, kind of like the Amazon cover flow but uh, so this is a seven inch tablet you've got your volume over here power button over here it's also got unlike the Kindle it has micro SD so if you want to add more storage it's already got double the storage of the Kindle but um, you can add more overall we like the screen better on this it doesn't look too much different there but it is a lot brighter the Kindle Fire is better for things like music and uh, videos because Amazon just has a better, it has its own music store, it's got its own video store. But if you don't like buying from Amazon, then you're kind of out of luck there. But, <laughs> well, here's the children's book. So they've got this uh, setting called Read and Record. You can actually, I guess if you leave, uh, and you have a kid, you can, uh, you know, record yourself reading it to them. Then you can... What did that say? <laughs> On the first page. What did that say? What did that say? And it'll uh, read it to you, too. So overall, we really like the Nook tablet. Uh, we've gotten a little bit of wear along the edges here. Kind of shows a little bit of a bronze color. I don't know if you can see it. There's no cameras on this. Really, these are both, no matter which one you choose, um, they're both okay, but uh, you really, you're looking at kind of a limited tablet experience. So it's mostly if you like to read and then do a few other things. If you want like a more full-fledged experience, we recommend the iPad or uh, an Android tablet or something along those lines. But overall, the Nook tablet is pretty good. It's good to see uh, somebody trying to keep Amazon on their toes. That is the Nook 16 gigabyte tablet.